He's just a very good football player. You know, he's a power five football player. Sign him, you know, and they'll figure it out once they get him on campus. There's no other way to put it. Jordan Thompson is an absolute problem on the football field. The Parsippany Hills product will enter his senior year as one of the most lethal two-way threats in the Garden State. He's put in the work for a stellar follow-up season. The problem is I just need to stay in shape as much as possible. I need to keep running every day like I usually do, just stay in shape so I can't get gas so I can play and hopefully help both sides of the ball, offense and defense. Jordan Thompson's role and production are eerily similar to one of New Jersey's top players from a year ago. Jordan averaged 20 yards per catch with nine touchdown catches, while player X put up 15 yards per catch with 11 scores. On defense, the numbers get even more scary. Only eight tackles was the difference between the two players. Thompson notched 15 sacks, player X notched 17 and a half. That player is Texas A&M's Fadil Diggs. Have you ever heard that comparison? And I'm sure that's a good comparison to hear. Yeah, I heard that and I love that. I love being compared to one of the best actually. Thompson made headlines this spring, announcing his verbal commitment to Rutgers University. He was among the second wave of in-state players to give a pledge to head coach Greg Schiano. The next task is finding out exactly where Thompson will line up for the Scarlet Knights. A battle between positional coaches could be on the horizon. Yeah, you know, I know in the Hale Center, they're trying to figure out if he is going to be a defensive lineman or a tight end for them. And I know there's going to be a fight um, once he enrolls between uh, Jim Panagos, the defensive line coach, and, uh, and um, you know, Nunzi Campanile, uh, the tight end coach at Rutgers, over who gets him. That versatility makes him such a force on the gridiron. By far the best player in Morris County, Thompson has the physical tools to wreck any game. Good combination of... Um of uh, uh, size potential and athleticism. That's what makes him. And he, he's a good all around athlete. I know he's a very good uh, basketball player for, for uh, Par Hills also. At that size to, to be running away from, from smaller defenders and, and you know making plays in a vertical passing game uh, for Par City Hills, that's, that's not, you know, it's not usual. So he, he's very unique talent. Beyond that is his drive for success. There's no question about who the leader for Par City Hills will be in 2020. Off the field, though, I'm just I just love to help people any way that I can. I put others before myself, no matter what happens. I just want to help as many people as I possibly can. To show, I want the seniors to show an like, example for the younger, like never stop working. I want to help push them to their to be their best, no matter what.